Hello again, YouTube. It's me, Bobby, aka Paginator, and I have got another unboxing. Yesterday, I unboxed Once Upon a Book Club and Owl Crate, and today I have the Spellbound book box. This is my last of three. I did a three month trial with them, and depending on this, how this goes, I might continue with this box. It is a fairly new uh, young adult subscription box, and it, I think it started last December, and so I've done the February, March, and now April boxes. I love, love, loved the February box. March was pretty good. It didn't, like, blow my socks off, but it was a good box. And now we have the April box, and we're going to dive in and see what they have for us. All right, I'll open the box forward for you all. Oh, I can feel something starting to fall out. Let me catch that before it falls. Oh, we've got notes here and crinkle crap so let's see eh, eh. the box doesn't want to open come on little box you can do it I believe in you I've been doing a lot of cheerleading today because my students have been testing on things um okay so this has an item list and a note from the curator let's Da -da 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 -da. All right, I was just checking to see if there were any like missing items or things that were going to be shipped later, but no, it's just like a thank you for subscribing letter, and then we've got a list of items which I'm going to promptly set aside so that I don't spoil myself. Okay, after I get the crinkle crap moved out of the way. We'll see what fun items we have here. All right, and there's another look at the items for you that now that that stuff's out of the way. All right, so the first thing I see is some bath salts, and we have Juliet Ferrers from Shatter Me. Um, shall we see what the bath salts smell like? Yes, I think we shall. Um. Maybe if I can open this. Ooh. Okay, so the the scent I'm picking up is very like clean laundry, clean linen kind of smell, which I happen to love. So for me, that's a win right there. Next, I see an enamel pin, and I want to take it out of the plastic wrapping for you. All right, it seems to be a wolf and then a dagger and a rose. And the little banner says, I will be unstoppable. I'm not sure what this is from. This is the Young Elites. Oh, that's why. I've never read the Young Elites. Is it any good? If you've read the Young Elites, let me know. I actually have it in my classroom library because my kids really like Marie Lou stuff. I just have never gotten around to reading that particular book. Okay, I am seeing a zippered pouch here. Her spine was steel, her heart was armor, her eyes were fire. Okay, do I know this without looking at the card to tell me what it is? Nope. And I darken is where the quote's from. I have read And I Darken, but it wasn't my favorite book in the world. I enjoyed the story. It just wasn't one that is written on my heart or anything. So that's probably why I didn't recognize the quote. But the zipper pouch is very nice fabric. It's good quality construction. And it is lined on the inside as well. So it should be very handy. You can never have too many zipper pouches or tote bags. There are so many things that you can use these for. All right, I see some little uh, room spray, essential oil room spray. Oh, this is perfect. In my school, I teach middle schoolers, and you know how bad middle schoolers smell? Like, bad. And I had some essential oil room spray, and we used it all up. And I was going to go to the store and buy some more, but now I don't have to. Oh, yay. This is called the Queen of Mirth, and it's orange, jasmine, and wicked fairies is the scent description. And I really just want to smell it. Ooh, I'm definitely picking up the orange scent in there. I am very, very excited to take this to school and use it. That is going to be awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. 
All right. I also see some lip balm and it says Clary Fairchild pomegranate apple lip balm. Clary, of course, is from the uh, Cassandra Clare universe, the mortal instruments, that kind of thing. Um, let's see. It says the lip balm is made by endlessly reading. That's kind of cool. And there's a book on it. All right. I've got to get rid of some more crinkle crap out of this box. Just go away. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hang on to your socks. Wait till you see this cover. Sorry, my box is about to fall off of my little cart there. This is beautiful. <laughs> oh my heck. This is We Rule the Night by Claire Eliza Bartlett. And there is a book plate sticker for you to stick inside with her signature. Let's take a look at how it looks naked. It's a red book with some shiny writing on the spine in gold. All right. I wish that this came with like a letter from the author. I really love when subscription boxes do that. But if they don't, I mean, hey, it's not like they have to. Um, I will read the dust jacket to you. Um, I'm seeing words here that are hitting me with Civil War time period, which is awesome because if it was like a fantasy thing set in Civil War time, my history nerd would totally freak out. I minored in history in college, so I love me some historical fiction. Let's see what this says. What the Union of the North asks they must give, even their lives. 17-year-old Revna is a skilled factory worker manufacturing magical war machines for the Union of the North. She is disregarded for her disability and her second-class citizenship, and after she's caught using illegal magic, a lifetime in prison looms. Meanwhile, on the front lines of the war, Lynn Lynne disguised herself as a man to join the army in defiance of her powerful father and the law. She is as good as a soldier as any of the boys, better even, but none of that matters when she's caught. I'm so excited already. <laughs> Both girls are offered a reprieve from punishment. Use your magic in a special women's military flight unit and undertake terrifying deadly missions under cover of darkness. Holy crap. Can I start reading this book like right now? No, I have to finish the one I'm currently reading first. Dang it. Okay. Revna and Lene can hardly stand to be in the same cockpit, but if they can't fly together and prove their worth to the war effort, their country will brand them as traitors, and if they can't find a way to fly well, the enemy's superior firepower will destroy them if they don't destroy each other first. I am so in. Oh man, I am currently reading um, Serious Moonlight, which I got in one of the unboxings that I did yesterday, but... I can tell you what I'm going to be reading next. I am flipping excited for this book. Yay! Okay, now, at the beginning of this video, I told you that I was kind of trying to decide if I should continue with the subscription box or not. And I think the answer is a resounding yes, I should. However, we must check the bank account and see if it's going to be financially responsible first to do so. Pretty soon I'm going to be starting graduate school and you know, you have to pay for that kind of thing. So I'll check my financial situation, but most likely I am going to be renewing with this company because I have been quite impressed with what they have done so far, especially for being new in the subscription box world. I feel like they're doing a really nice job of putting out a quality product and um, yeah. They're really fun, plus they interact with people on Instagram, which is fun. The director of Spellbound um, has always replied to any comments that I put on her posts, or sometimes she'll like my posts and pictures and things, and that's kind of fun to feel like, I know someone who runs this company, even though we only know each other through Instagram. I know. Anyway, I guess uh, that's it for me. I am very satisfied with this unboxing. If I had to pick a favorite item, I would say it is the essential oil room spray because I'm so excited to use this and of course the book because I'm very excited to read it so I have so many things to read I have got to get on it and on that note I'm gonna go read a book so you all have a wonderful and bookish day happy reading adios